Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. Uh, if you're new, please subscribe. I am uh, just a little bit over 100 people away from 1,000 subscribers. Once I get to 1,000, YouTube will let me do certain things like post. So if you haven't already, uh, if you feel like it, please uh, do subscribe. I am so excited to get to 1,000. For those of you who have already subscribed, already my viewers, thank you so much. I love you all so much. I really love your comments too. Um, I really uh, want, love seeing the comments where you tell me how this resonates with you, what's going on in your life, and how um, it gives you clarity. It's very fulfilling for me to read those. Um, thank you so much. Uh, for those of you who are new and do not know, I'm also an author. I'm writing an action-adventure love story on superhero twin flames. This is, uh, there's two books in this series so far. This is called uh, Perception, The Two Yet One, book one. These are my characters, Luna and Sunshine. Sunny for short. Don't ever call him Sunshine. He hates it. <laughs> okay, so um, this is, uh, it's based on my life and my twin flames life. Um, I just finished reading the entire book out loud on Facebook Live, and I've uploaded all of those videos here for you to view and listen to. Uh, all of those links are in the description box below, as well as links to purchase these books, because if you have already um, watched or listened uh, to those videos or even purchased book one and read it, uh, don't worry, there is already a book two published and ready for you to just devour. Okay, uh, here's a little sneak preview from the back. Yes, that is an MMA octagon. What? Yeah, this is, um, these are beautiful books too. I wish you could feel this. This is how big they are. They're very well made. They're made from, uh, uh, Amazon makes them. So check it out. It's all of that's in the uh, description box below. Um, also, you can find a link to my friend April's astrology channel here on YouTube. Check her out. Subscribe. She's so awesome. And if you would like a personal reading, the information for that is also in the description box below. Now, I read um, minor arcana cards as messages about your free will as a being. And I uh, read major arcana cards as messages about your divine blueprint. Your divine blueprint pardon me, is uh, the plan that you made for your life before you incarnated so that you would encounter uh, certain lessons and learn them. And what that does is it raises the vibration of your soul. Okay. Now these lessons can come back into your life over and over again if you don't learn them. And some of them just go away. They never come back and, and until you have reincarnated and you have to then learn those lessons in your next life. Okay. So what I'm working with here is sort of like a destiny, but not really because we have free will and nothing is written in stone and free will can change just about anything. Okay, so let's get started here at the heart of everything for you at this time, uh, Cancer. We have the three of pentacles. The three of pentacles is when um, people are working together. It's collaboration. It has to do with business. A career, money, pentacles is earth energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. Now this is when you've become um, maybe uh, the work that is being produced by you and your team, your feeling is uh, kind of mediocre. It, it's not, and, and maybe the uh, folks you're working with aren't getting along with you. They, this talks about, um, my Virgin of Guadalupe decided to move there. Okay. All right. So this is what's going on for you right now. I just feel like there's a team that you're involved with and uh, you're, you could be bored with it. You, you feel like you need a change or I don't know, your team is uh, maybe being petty or something. They're bugging you at this time. That's why it's in reverse. This is, um, yeah. And maybe this is, you know, this is probably your your job because the energy that is directly affecting this uh, three of pentacles in reverse is the queen of wands. And, and as pentacles um, talk about money, wands talk about career. Uh, so that's one of my first indications that we're talking about something that's going on in your, your career and your work life. 
This could be a boss, okay? Uh, this is a strong-minded, self-sufficient, uh, professional feminine, okay? She's a natural leader. She's, uh, you know, she's friendly and, and loving and honorable. She's, she is beautiful. She's attractive. Uh, she looks good. She smells good. She's confident. She's got all the energy in the world to get what she needs done, okay? So this could be your energy uh, right now. And, um, or it could be like, say, if you're in a team right now and everybody in your team is bugging you, maybe you love your boss. Okay. But this, uh, yeah, this is somebody with a lot of, um, energy, somebody in authority. Okay. This, this could be your energy. Let's see what else the cards are telling me. Now here we have this card. With, this is at the root of the matter. Okay, This is your own energy here. Um, this looks like a lobster, but it's, it's Cancerian energy here. And um, here is the moon. And uh, this is prompting me right now. Look at, we've got these, uh, it's a dog and one of them is a wolf. And today is the wolf moon in Leo. Okay. Um, Leo is a fire sign. She's got a sunflower right there. The sun is also a card for Leo. That's really interesting. She's got her little black cat there. That's the feminine, the feline energy. Um, so, wow. Okay. So there's something really special about this full moon energy for you today. This is the 28th of, uh, January. Um, the, yeah, the full, the full moon, the full wolf moon in Leo. Interesting. Okay. So now this though, um, this talks about, uh, like maybe being in the dark about something, some kind of deception going on. Um, there, there's something that you intuitive, this is also intuition, this is something that you intuitively know is hidden from you, okay? You're in the dark about something and you know that, but nobody's really telling you, okay? This can be things like slander, this can be things like, uh, like I said, deception um, always comes up with this, this card here, okay? So there's something um, that's going on and you know it, write down to your bones or, or to your shell. Oh. <laughs> Little joke there uh, for cancers. But uh, yeah, there's something special about tonight's full moon energy for you as well. Um, it looks like this wolf is about to howl or something. There's something that you want to speak your mind about, I'm feeling. Um, it could be, see, I'm looking at this face too, and I'm just kind of feeling this, uh, this queen. When I look at this face, that's weird. Maybe this is your boss watching over you. Um, all right, so the energy that's moving out of your life at this time, Cancer, is another queen. And she is in the upright. And this is a nurturing queen. She's the queen of pentacles. She's grounded. She's um, loving. Uh, she, she can be um, like a mother energy and this you know it doesn't have to be a woman okay this is mothering energy this is nurturing energy this is like doctors and nurses and you know right down to you know uh, medical assistants and paramedics stuff like that even um, like chefs and stuff people who are nurturers that help other people so um, this uh, is a very wise trustworthy uh, feminine energy. She, she is a good counselor. Okay. She's very generous. Um, so this energy is moving out of your life at this time. It could have been that there was somebody who was helping you out. Um, but now this energy is moving out of your life at this time. Maybe it's you who has been nurturing and, and, you know, because this Actually, this energy really reminds, even though it's a pentacle, even though it's earth, it really reminds me of you, Cancer, because she is all about her home. She's all about her family and um, nurturing and loving and caring, and that's what Cancers are as well. 
as you know. Okay, so these next two energies for me as a reader are future cards. And what we have here is more disc energy. Um, this is the seven of pentacles and it is in reverse. So uh, in your future, you might be feeling some anxiety over money. There might be some like ex unexpected expenses or something. Um, this is, uh, the advice for this is to go ahead and check all your transactions that have to do with money, okay? Check your things like security on your computer. Um, just make sure everything is working, everything is copacetic, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, when this is right side up, that dude is just sitting there looking at it. He's, he's got a hoe in his hand, but he's not hoeing them, he's just looking. Okay, so this is in reverse. So this is, um, this is going to be you um, doing something, okay? Going into your transactions, going into your computer, everything that helps you uh, to make money. Just make sure everything's okay because if you are feeling this anxiety over your money, that's going to help you to calm down. Now, this next future card is sword energy, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy. This one is Libra in particular. This is the two of swords. This is when you have a decision to make, when you're at a crossroads and you just don't know where to go. But this is in reverse. So this is saying that um, if, if there's some issues going on, it's going to be resolved. Okay? Uh, in reverse, this means harmony is restored. Okay? This is uh, telling you to learn how to give and receive. Okay, now there might be uh, an imposter. Okay, there might be some disloyalty and some falsehoods going on here because this is also uh, kind of, this is feeling very intuitive to me even though this is air energy which is logic and everything. You'll see that she's blindfolded because she doesn't need to see and she does have the moon here and all this water behind her. Use, uh, uh, this is speaking to me with this, okay? Your full, your, your moon card, which I think it's so awesome that you got in your reading, but also that it's a full moon tonight. Um, it's, this is in reverse. There isn't a decision to be made. What this is, is that you're going to have resolution to this thing that you know is there intuitively you know something's up there's something that you don't know yet you're going to find out and it's going to be resolved okay and i think that's going to be um you going through your stuff okay so this might happen first you might find out what happened and you're like oh my god and then you go into your money and you check all your transactions and you're going to be fine okay all right so the next energy that we read here is your um, hope card here. And uh, I think that, see, now this is the, um, the nine of rods, or, or wands rather, okay? Uh, this is the wounded warrior energy. So e even though this is your hope card, I'm getting that you're feeling, you know, uh, pretty defensive right now. You, you know something's up with this moon card here, okay? You're, you're ready, though. You're ready to, to fight again if you have to, okay? But this is basically, you're being, um, you're hoping to remain calm and patient, okay? You're hoping that you're going to get through this maybe without having to uh, fight this last battle. You know, you got one last battle to go. I mean, look at him. He's like, you know, he's, he's already fought these nine battles you know, and we, when we get to the 10, that's when we're done here. So he's, you know, he's ready to like pull up his last bit of strength and, and to fight this, this good fight. But I think that you're um, hoping that you don't have to do that. I think that you're hoping that if you're just patient and you stay calm, everything's going to work out. And that's usually the case for a lot of stuff. You know, if you're just patient and you stay calm, things eventually uh, work out, whether you're, you know, freaking out or not. Now, this is your, uh, the next card is your Nine of Swords here in reverse, okay? Now, when the Nine of Swords is like this, this is when you're like really upset and you can't sleep and you're having all these, um, these issues. And, uh, like these are all worries hanging over your head and you just can't sleep. Even though your bed is comfortable and you're, 
you've got things to comfort you and all that stuff. You just can't get out of your head, but this is in reverse. So this is you um, having the strength to rise above the problems. This is, um, but you, you're still, I feel like what you're doing is you're still doing some of this, but to a lesser degree because you're strong. Okay, you've got the strength to rise above the problems. In fact, in, in another deck, my Thoth deck, this, is, this nine of wands is called strength. So you're hoping to have the strength to get through it, um, and you will. And so you've got two nines here. So at this point, I w this is when I want to tell you to go ahead and um, Google angel number 99. Okay? Uh, the way I put it into the Google bar is I put 99 and then angel number. Because then when you keep pulling up the angel numbers, all you got to do is put in the number and then the suggestion for angel number will start popping up for you. Okay, so this is the energy that is in your fear. This is your fear card. This is the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords in reverse is about sharp words and aggression. This is about imprudence and incapacity. Okay, this is also a, a threat of violence. Okay, so I think you're afraid that you're going to go through a conflict. That, you know, because the, this Knight of Swords... He rushes into war. He's going to battle. You're afraid that you're going to have to go into um, not literal battle, but some sort of battle. See what I mean? And I don't blame you. Because you know something's up here. Something is wrong. Your intuition is telling you that. And you probably know uh, today... It's, this feeling is amplified because of the full moon, because this came out in your reading, because this is you, because it's the wolf moon. Oh my God, I mean, this is blowing my mind. Now, here is your outcome, okay? More swords. Now, swords are, they're, uh, air energy is mental energy. It's thoughts, it's logic, it's intellect, Okay? And here we have the card of conflict. Here we have the card of battle, gossip, um, jealousy, uh, trouble with an enemy, okay? But this is in reverse. So this, is, uh, this can be victory over these things such as gossip, slander, and jealousy. Okay? But it can also mean this. So while it is very possible that there is going to be some sort of conflict that you're going to go through, this is in reverse. So it's not going to be as bad as you think. Even your, um, your fear card, this battle card, uh, it's upside down. It's not going to be as bad as you think, okay? So the underlying energy that you've got going on here is the king of pentacles okay so this may have even though this is not part of your um your spread you still got him and so now you've got some counterparts here both the king and the queen of pentacles okay so this is earthly life this is um happy home life grounded people stable people nurturing people, generous people. So this is, um, this is, this energy is moving out of your life. And this is out the, this is at the, um, the root of it all. And, and so I feel like right now, this feeling of being, um, stable in your home life with your money is moving that's why it's on its way out. That's why this is the uh, underlying energy because this is what you want. Okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and clarify with the uh, tea leaf fortune cards because I love them. I'm having a lot of fun with them and they give a lot of good um, messages. Now, they are... It is a, a large 
deck. So I, I put it all together and it's too big for me to, yay, um, for me to uh, shuffle. So I do it in two, two piles. Let's see if there is anything they want to, anything more they want to give us, anything they want to reiterate, anything they want to clarify, any kind of um, comfort, perhaps. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Funnel. All right. Wow, you got a lot of them. So, whoa, January. Okay, yeah, I'm telling you, there's something going on today. Okay, there's something going on today. This, this is an important full moon for you, Cancer. All right. Parrot, someone will gossip about, gossip about all of your secrets. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, so that is clarifying what I was talking about with this um, this five of swords this is gossip okay but it's it uh, while this says all of your secrets I just I still feel like it's not going to be as bad as as you might think and and this is gossip and stuff like that is one of those things that we all kind of feel like why do I feel like so and so is talking about me you know what I mean we, we feel that a lot, and it's hard to pinpoint when they're talking behind your back because they're talking behind your back. Okay, so we'll on ladder. Climbing towards success. Yay! All of these, okay, these two queens and this king over here, that is clarifying that for me. Success is being the boss. You know, if you feel like you are embodying this energy right here, Cancer, then you're definitely, definitely boss material, okay? Then we have Harp. Great happiness! Yay, I've never seen that one. That's so awesome. Beautiful. Okay, Owl. Good advice from a wise person. Oh, Mm-hmm. Hmm. Right? Okay, it could even be me. All right, kangaroo. Unsettled times need to plan ahead. Right. Okay, so what was saying that? I think that's like this uh, seven of, of discs, okay? Or pentacles, rather. Dog barking. Advice from a friend. Okay, so that's the second one. Somebody has got some super good advice for you, okay? Uh, bridge, successfully overcoming a problem. See, that's what I was saying. You know, this is not as bad as you think it is. This two of swords, um, this is harmony restored, okay? Even though there's falsehood, duplicity, disloyalty, um, there's, this also means harmony restored. Differences will be resolved, Okay? So, pig, beware of greed. Ooh. Okay, so I'm just feeling like if there's somebody that's talking about you, it could be because they're greedy. And when somebody is greedy and they're talking about someone, they may try to convey to others that that person that they're talking about is the one who's greedy, not them. Yes, this is the one I hadn't seen either, Funnel. Period of frustration, lessons to be learned. Oh, well, definitely, definitely, okay? The frustration that you've got going on here. Okay, a dolphin, financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. Okay, so this is, uh, I, I just feel like this ladder here, climbing towards success. Those are definitely, um, definitely together, okay? Then we have chair filled. Someone new is entering your life. Wow. That's beautiful. And fire. Strong emotion. Passionate love or hate. <laughs> now, this is, if anything is strong fire, there it is. Okay. Strong fire. 
You do. You, these are fire signs. This is the strength card for, um, for this suit. And this woman, this feminine rather, pardon me, this feminine can handle anything. Strong fire. Now, I really hope that this person who's gossiping about you doesn't hate you so strongly, okay? But if they do, just learn from it and forgive them. Because my goodness. All right, so how much control do you have over this situation? I can gauge that by the number of major arcana to minor. And Cancer, you have one. You have your card, the moon here, okay? So um, once again... This is saying how important this full moon is. This is saying how important your intuition is. It's telling you, you, you know, okay? Yeah, they're showing me these two dogs, this wolf and this dog. They look like they're talking, like they're even having a conversation with this lobster down here. Um, and, and they're telling, it looks like she's listening, you know? Like maybe there's more than one person that's talking about you to possibly to your boss or something or um, someone who is very important to you or, you know, so you know that something's going down and that it's not good, but it's going to come to light, okay? Because this is what the moon does. A full moon especially will shine light in the darkness and will shine the light on what has been hidden, okay? And the, and the presence of the king and queen of pentacles um, yeah, and the Queen of Wands, the, the, your boss material, totally, okay? So that's probably why these people are talking about you. All right, so I really hope you enjoyed your reading. That's what I have for you at this time, Cancer. See you next time.